Hello, so today we're going to look at two things. First thing is los animales in Espanol. You can see the animals here on the left. Let's see, let's just scroll down. You can have a look at all the pictures that we're going to look at today. And the words are on the right. So that's the first thing we're going to look at. The second thing is comparing, comparing things. But we'll look at that in a second. So the first, first thing we're going to do is look at the pronunciation. Then we'll connect the words and the animals. We have una ballena, un caballo, un conejo, un cerdo, un perro, un pez. Un ratón. Un pájaro. Un gato. Una araña. Un león. Un pato. So if you need to go back and practice the pronunciation. Put some of the pictures with the words. So the first thing we have is, ¿Cómo se dice en español? Right, un caballo. Un caballo. Next one. Where do we put him? Well, down here a little bit. Yes, somewhere here. Un... Where do we have it? Yeah, here it is, down here. There we go. Un ratón. Un ratón. So a ratón is not a rat, it's a mouse. So it's slightly false friend. Un ratón. We use the same un ratón for a computer mouse. It's the same word. Next one, this one here. One of these words here. Can you find it? Una ballena. Again, there's an English word. Connected, that's similar to ballena, connected to a whale. ¿Cómo se dice en español, rabbit? Somewhere here. Un conejo. Un conejo. Keep going. This guy is un perdo. Usually in Spain, it's un cerdo. In Latin, much of Latin America, it's un puerco. So let's put it in just a bit. Puerco might be easier to remember. Most people know this. Un perro. Un perro. The next one. Un pez. So remember, a lot of people learn pescado, but pescado is fish only as food. Pez is fish as a living, a living thing or a pet. Next one. Easy enough. Un gato. This guy. You can guess it from the term arachnophobia. Una... Araña. Hombre araña, Spider-Man. Then we have un pato. How about this one? Can you guess? There's only two left. This one and this one. Un león. And the last one has to be un... Pájaro. And be careful with the pronunciation. Pájaro with the accent on the A. So let's just repeat. Una ballena. Un caballo. Un conejo. Un cerdo. Un perro. Un pez. Un ratón, un pájaro, un gato, 
una araña, un león, un pato. So, there are the animals. Let's have a look at comparing animals. Comparar, to compare. So, this is the same for comparing anything. We're going to do a little verdadero or falso activity. So, for example, verdadero or falso, or true or false. Let's try the first one. Una ballena es más grande que un ratón. Verdadero o falso? You can see here, verdadero, just to check. Una ballena, un ratón. Una ballena es más grande que un ratón. Verdadero. Here we're going to use the word peligroso. Peligroso is dangerous. Un león es más peligroso que un pato. Un pato. That's pato. There's a león. Un león es más peligroso que un pato. Verdadero o, verdadero o falso. I think we can agree that's verdadero. Verdadero. Un pez es más pequeño que un caballo. Normally, un caballo, un pez, o un pez. Remember, the Z can be S or Th. Un pez es más pequeño que un caballo. Again, verdadero. Y el último. Un cerdo es menos rápido que un pájaro. Let's look again. Un cerdo. Y un pájaro. Un cerdo es menos rápido que un pájaro. Again. Verdadero. We've had no falso at all. Usually the pig would be less fast, not as fast as a bird. Más something que o menos something que. Here, the something is an adjective. So it could be grande, pequeño, rápido, whatever. So más the adjective que, menos the adjective que. That's all, always the way it is. That's the only thing we do to compare things in Spanish. Or it's the main way. So to practice. Let's use some of these, these adjectives here. And we're going to compare el ratón y el león. So let's have a look. Peligroso, pequeño, grande, rápido, bonito, impresionante, agresivo. Peligroso, again, is dangerous. Bonito is like guapo, precioso, beautiful. Impresionante, impresa. So, for example, por ejemplo, un león es más peligroso que un ratón. León es más peligroso que un ratón. I think we can agree on that. Un ratón es menos agresivo que un león. Menos agresivo. And I think that's true. What else can we say? Let me pause the video and try and make some more sentences using the adjectives and comparing the two animals. So let's have a look. Let's use pequeño. Un ratón es más pequeño que un león. That's, that's for sure. 
Así es impresionante. Un ratón. ratón es menos impresionante que un león. So remember, más pequeño is smaller, más is more, menos is less. Menos impresionante que un león. Let's just use one more, rápido, which is faster. Un león es más rápido que un ratón. Un león es más rápido que un ratón. There are other comparisons you can, you can practice yourself. Good idea to practice some of the, comparing some of the other animals. For, for more practice, vamos a practicar comparar Sligo y Dublín. Vamos a comparar. Por ejemplo, Sligo es más grande que... Dublín es más grande que Sligo. Dublín es más grande que Sligo. There are lots of other adjectives you could use to compare Sligo and Dublin. So um, try and make some sentences, compare Sligo and Dublin. And habrá unas ideas en el blog des, debajo de este video. So below this video, there'll be more ideas, answers to this comparison. But before you look at that, try and make some comparatives yourself. Just before we finish today, vamos a repasar. ¿Cómo se dice en español? Es un león. Es un... If you don't know, go back and check. Pause the video, go back to the beginning and check. Es un ratón. ¿Cómo se dice? Es un conejo. ¿Cómo se dice? Es un... ¿Cómo se dice? Es un... Cerdo o puerco. ¿Cómo se dice? Es una ballena. ¿Cómo se dice? Es un pájaro. ¿Cómo se dice? Es una araña. That's it. Okay, so do some practice. Have a look at the blog. We'll be back with another video connected to comparatives pretty soon. Thanks for watching.